When we decided to build a public-facing API at Documento, we had to choose between creating a new application from scratch or using the existing code base. The first option meant building the API with a technology like Node.js, for example, and launching it under a new separate domain. The API would be decoupled from the main Documento app, which would result in benefits such as low latency responses and supporting larger file uploads, to name just a few. So, creating a new application for the API looks like a more robust solution and therefore the natural choice. But there is a problem. Building the API from scratch means an extra application to deploy and manage. At Documento, we are still a young company with a relatively small team. Building and maintaining a second application would stretch our resources. As a result, we decided to go with the second option, to implement the public API in the existing codebase. Later, we can move the API to a separate codebase if required. So, since we are using TRPC, we had to choose between two technologies to build the public API. The first one is TRPC Open API, and the second one is TS REST. In this video, I'll talk about each technology in part, the pros and cons of both, and our choice. Let's start with TRPC Open API. I first came across it when the TRPC team recommended it for building public facing APIs. This package lets you easily create public REST endpoints for your existing TRPC procedures. It also enables you to add Open API support. Since this solution is more like a plugin or add on, it's quicker to implement. The configuration is minimal in the sense that you can turn your TRPC procedures into REST endpoints as follows. In some scenarios, having a specific standalone API contract might be more beneficial though. The pros of TRPC Open API are as follows. It's easier and quicker to implement, not much boilerplate code is required, it's a solution that's recommended by the TRPC team. The cons of TRPC Open API are as follows. It's more like an add-on rather than a standalone solution, the private and public procedures can become interwined, and lastly, TRPC Open API defines the API implementation as the contract. However, in certain use cases, you might want a separate contract to represent the API, as in our case. The second option, TS REST, allows you to define a standalone contract for your public facing API. In this case, an API contract refers to a piece of code that describes the structure of the API, the format of the requests and responses, and how to authenticate your API calls, among others. Here you can see a contract example. The above API contract defines the structure of an API that only has one endpoint called get documents. It specifies the type of request it accepts, get in this case, what the endpoint is, the query parameters it accepts, various response formats, and a summary that describes the purpose of this endpoint. With TS REST, you can define a contract that can be shared between the client and the backend. For example, that can be a shared library in a monorepo or a shared NPM package. As a result, TS REST allows you to build a REST-like API with a typical HTTP method such as GET, POST, PUT, DELETE and others, with the extra benefit of providing these endpoints to the client as RPC type calls in a fully type safe interface. The TS REST pros are as follows. This solution feels more robust since it's a standalone solution rather than a second abstraction layer. Then it allows you to design an API in the REST style but with RPC type client calls. And lastly, it provides end-to-end -end type safety and has a small bundle size of one kilobyte. The TS REST cons are as follows. It requires more boilerplate code to set everything up. It takes time to implement it initially and add additional endpoints. And you need to build the API from scratch rather than reusing existing routes. After comparing the two, my conclusion is that TRPC Open API seems like a faster solution while TS REST seems like the more robust solution. However, one isn't necessarily better than the other. 
Each has its benefits and drawbacks and it really depends on what you want to build. Weigh both options and see which one makes the most sense for your use case. With that being said, our choice is TS REST. Being able to create a standalone API contract and define the API in a REST style while providing end-to-end -end type safety and a small bundle size convinced us to pick this option. And that's it folks, I'm curious to see what you think, so please feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.